Hey there YouTube, welcome to another Tech Me Out video. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. In today's video, we will continue our discussion about Synology's active backup for business. And in particular, we will be talking about performing bare metal restore. So if you recall, in our previous video, we walked over how easy it is to configure a PC and connect it to Active Backup for Business and how easy it is to restore individual files and folders. By the way, if you haven't watched that video, a link to this video will be shown right above my head in the top right corner. I strongly recommend that you go and watch that video and then come back and watch this video together with me. So, as I said, we are going to show how easy it is to do a bare metal restore. And a bare metal restore, in a nutshell, is these edge cases where your computer a hard drive has crashed completely and you needed to get a new hard drive and now you have your computer with a blank hard drive and instead of going through the process of manually installing Windows and then installing your applications and then restoring individual files and folders to get your data back and then your settings and your wallpaper, etc., etc. Synology offers us a very powerful tool that in the end of the process, you will get your computer running with the operating system, with the applications and programs and the data exactly as it was the way that the last backup was taken. So all you will have to do, you, you take a USB key, we will see exactly how to do it, stick it in the computer, run through the process, let it finish, and that's it. I strongly believe that even though that the process is behind the scenes relatively complex, it's presented to us users in fairly simple way that I think that everyone can do. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when new videos come out. And let's walk over to the computer and see how easy it is to configure this process and do it. All right, so we are at the computer as an, and as I said, we are focusing today on bare metal restores. Here we have a Windows 10 desktop. This machine is actually a virtual machine, but the same process applies here. So, in order to get the process running, we will need to create a recovery media. We only have to do it once and the process is not very difficult, so bear with me. If you recall, in order to get a computer to be backed up to Active Backup for Business, we need to connect it to, to Active Backup for Business. We need to download, we need to download the agent. If we click on add a device, I'm not going to do this process again. We have already uh, walked over this. So the agent is right here. You install it and then you will see, uh, you will see that the agent is installed and we have the agent running. And in order to get a backup, we'll go to the task list and we'll click on backup. All right, that is how simple it is to get a PC connected to Active Backup for Business and to start backing it, up, backing it up. And if you remember, we created a template and in this template, we already configured a schedule. So we will not have to worry about remembering to backup. It will happen auto automatically. So we have a PC, it's backed up to Active Backup for Business. And now it's time to create a, 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 the mechanism to, to be able to do bare metal a, a restores. So we'll go back to the Devices tab and we'll click on Restore and Create Recovery Media. We'll click on Synology Backup for Business Recovery Media Creator. It will, it will be, let's say, some sort of a lengthy process, but remember, we only have to do it once. So bear with me. All right, it's downloaded. Let's go to our Downloads folder extract it and let's start uh, this process let's click on launch creator 
<coughs> All right, so here we have an option to create uh, the recovery media directly on a USB or an ISO media. In this, in, in this particular example, I'm choosing ISO media because I do want to have this ISO file uh, um, safe keeping, uh, safe, uh, safely kept somewhere that I can reuse over and over again. So let's go to the downloads folder and select this folder and we'll click on create. And now we are presented uh, to download and install Windows ADK. In a nutshell, Windows ADK is some sort of a framework Microsoft uses <coughs> in bare metal restores, uh, uh, sorry, in uh, Windows uh, installations. It creates a WinPE along with other uh, uh, components. And WinPE uh, is something that if you ever installed Windows 10 and you launched the installation and you clicked on next and selected the, the hard drive and then started the installation process, well, this framework of the installation process is, uh, uh, is something that's called WinPE, Windows Pre-Installation Environment. It doesn't really matter for us, we'll just click on install, uh, download, sorry. It will download everything that's needed. We'll click on next. We will not join uh, uh, the anonymous usage. Click on next and accept. Now, I can tell you that I've worked with Windows ADK a lot. I know that most of these components are not needed, but for simplicity's sake, we'll just click on install. You will see that it will take about 6.8, uh, 6 relative, uh, almost seven gigabytes of hard disk space. Let's click on install. Now, this part can take anywhere from five, 10, 20 minutes. It depends on uh, uh, the speed of your internet connection and how powerful your computer is to install this software. I will, of course, cut the recording right here and resume it once this process is done. All right, guys, so the installation of Windows ADK is complete and we'll continue the process to create the recovery media. We'll click on close and again, click on create. Again, if you're using it uh, to restore uh, physical devices, I, I, I think that you will be uh, more comfortable of creating USB media, sticking a blank uh, USB key uh, to a USB uh, port and the uh, process will create the recovery media bootable straight on the USB key. I'm doing the ISO uh, media because first I want, I need to, uh, to use the ISO in, in my virtual machine and I'm very comfortable in uh, safe keeping this ISO file and then using Rufus or any other uh, program to burn this ISO into a USB key. So you have the choice there. I'm going with ISO media and I'll click on create. And now since all the prerequisite software with the Windows ADK is installed, the process is actually beginning uh, to create the ISO file. This process should not take more than a minute or two to create uh, uh, the USB, the USB key, uh, the USB ISO file, I mean. Again, it depends on uh, on your hardware, if you're running it on a SSD based computer or not, but we see that uh, in my case the process is already finished and now it's unmounting the recovery image. We'll give it another minute or two and then we will have the ISO media ready for use. At that point we will take the ISO and we will upload it to one of my ESXi's uh, uh, data stores because we will need to mount it as a virtual DVD to this virtual machine. Of course, we will see it when it comes. The process is finished. That's great. And here is the recovery ISO file. Now, I am going to cut the recording right here. I'm going to upload this ISO to my ESXi host and then we'll continue the process uh, with the virtual machine. We will, of course, have to shut it down and, uh, uh, of course, uh, we will get there when we get there. I'm cutting the recording right here and I will resume it when I'm finished. 
All right, guys, so the ISO file has been uploaded to a data store visible by both of my ESXi hosts, and it's time to shut down this computer and simulate a hard drive failure. Let's go ahead. All right, so this is the virtual machine we have been working on. In a minute, it will be shut down. And what we, will going to do, what we are going to do next is to simulate a complete hard drive failure. We will, in this case, completely delete the virtual machine, uh, the virtual machine hard drive. Let's go to edit settings. And this is the hard drive. We'll completely delete it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add a new hard drive with the same size. It's important that it will be the same size or larger. It cannot be a smaller hard drive. The next thing we are going to do is we're going to mount the ISO file we created and we will boot from this ISO file. And here it is. Make sure that we'll connect this ISO file. Click on OK. All right, so we added a new hard drive. We added uh, the ISO file as a boot device. And now it's time to power on this virtual machine and start the, re uh, the recovery process. Let's click on power on and launch the web console. We do want to launch uh, from a uh, uh, virtual DVD. And as you can see, this uh, booting process is the same as when installing Windows 10 because it's Windows ADK uh, generated WinPE uh, uh, image. And then we get our uh, Synology recovery process. Let's click on next. And what we need is to type in the IP address of our Synology device and the username and password, something that we have went over in the first Active Backup for Business uh, video. Let's click on connect. We'll click on proceed anyway, of course. And now we will have a, a list of devices that are being backed up to Active Backup for Business. We only have one, but if we were uh, uh, backing up uh, several computers, they will all be showing up in this list and we will need to select the correct device. This is the device that we are trying to restore. Let's click on next. I want the entire device restore option, although we can just, for example, if we have multiple drives, we can, only, we can restore only the C drive, for example. So let's go with the entire device restore. And now we are presented to choose from which date, from which backup we want to restore from. Let's click on the latest one we can find. I think that it's this one. Let's click on next. We are getting some sort of a summary of the partitions that are going to be created. That's fine. And let's click on OK. So now what is happening right now, Synology Active Backup for Business is injecting the, let's say, snapshot of the virtual hard drive and applying it on the new virtual hard drive, which is currently blank. Again, there is no need to wait for this process, uh, we, uh, which is something that can take from five or 10 minutes to even half an hour, or maybe even more than that. That depends, of course, of the amount of data the size of the backup that needs to be now restored. So I will cut the recording right here and I will uh, uh, resume it once this is done. All right, so the restoration has completed. We'll see that we have no errors. Let's click on finish. This will of course restart the virtual machine. What, be, and what time uh, 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 doing in this virtual machine since we can't just remove a physical USB key 
we will need to go over to the virtual machine and virtually remove the USB key. All right, so let's restart. And what should happen right now is that Windows is loading, which, is, which we see is a good sign. We have our operating system back. Indeed we do. It's like, it's like magic. We have our user account, which is also a very good sign. Let's log in. And as we can see, we have our computer and look at it, it's exactly the same it was when the backup was, uh, when the backup was done. We have introduced a completely blank virtual hard drive. We have restored the backup from Active Backup for Business and we have our virtual machine exactly as it was since the last backup. And just to verify, we'll go to our C drive and we have a data folder with our sample uh, data and documents and photos. And this computer is now completely usable exactly as it was uh, since before the, uh, in the restoration. Now, something that I recommend is doing a quick reboot just to let the computer reintroduce itself in regards to drivers, maybe. But basically, the process is done. It's completely successful and we have our computer usable once again. So, this is how easy it is to completely restore a, a, a computer from a, a state that it's completely unusable and no operating system and the hard drive is completely blank to a point where the operating system is installed, all the programs are installed and all the data is there. Completely, completely simple and completely free, most importantly, if you're a Synology owner. So, I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please click the like if you have any comments, any suggestions, any uh, uh, maybe criticism, please write down in the comment section below. I love to hear your co to read your comments and uh, get a discussion going. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will, you will be notified when new videos come out. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.